All right, everybody, here we go again. <laughs> this is just crazy. I, I mean, seriously, these, everything. Anyway, let's try to put a perspective on what's going on here. Thursday, October 18th, 2018. So right now, again, as I am doing this video blog, I know everyone is focused on the stock market, and the stock market is lower. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is down about 150 points. Nothing dramatic, but still down. Now, the issue, once again, is in the bond market, and that's driving stock prices to a large degree. There's something else going on, too, and I want to talk about that. So, bonds are selling off right now. I don't know why this is happening. I'm hearing a lot of chatter as to what actually might be driving this we all understand the bond market the biggest bubble the world has ever seen and there is going to be a point here and there is no doubt about it where there is a rapid uncontrolled sell-off which is gonna shoot rates to the moon no matter what happens I mean it's a bubble it's that simple um, and again and I alluded to yesterday how if the Fed were to let a little air out of the bubble uh, periodically that it might, might, uh, at least lessen some of the pain that is going to come down the pike. We got to stop inflating bubbles. It's that simple. And, but, but it, it, this is a mechanism that has existed since again, time immemorial and it's disgusting in my view, but that's just the way it is. But let's stick to what's going on now. Stocks are lower. Bond yields are higher. U.S. 10-year yield is about 3.21. Now, here's the worst part of it. You've got bonds selling off and the dollar getting stronger. Now, if you follow my blog, I have outlined this scenario for you repeatedly. This is what we do not want to see in an environment where we want to see stocks go up. Personally, I don't care where stocks go. I want to see the market normalize. You all know that. It's... It's in fantasy land off the freaking Richter scale. But that's what's driving stocks right now. Um, there is one other factor. We're going to get to that in a second. So we got rising 10-year uh, yield, stronger dollar. Stronger dollar, would you be surprised if I were to tell you is putting pressure on gold and silver? It's ridiculous. There's, even though there really is no correlation anymore, but any excuse they have to, to push the price of gold and silver lower, uh, they'll do and it's, it's nothing dramatic, but it's just laughable when you see this um, Cryptocurrencies are also under a little bit of pressure now, so we understand and I want you to think about what I'm about to say here uh, Bond yields rising 10-year yield 3.21 dollars getting stronger both stock market negative you can see what's happening here in the stock market the other thing that's affecting stocks here uh, is the rising cost of materials for the industrial stocks and this is tariff related so this is also a negative for the stock market look it's always a cause and effect cause and effect it's so simple to understand these things for example just looking at the the, the bond market and the dollar there's your cause effect stocks lower uh, and playing right into this is again this uh, situation here with rising material costs this is gonna weigh on industrial stocks it's so simple if you just understand a basic cause and effect I don't know another way to say it so these are things that we need to keep our eye on here um, look with regard to this market now and a lot of this well some of this is also um, seasonal it's where we are in the cycle uh, this this month generally is not a good one um, for the markets going back historically but 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 again this is an environment of absolute extremes of absolute fakery like we have never seen before and it just continues um, I really want this market to normalize uh, in one way or the other um, in, in a controlled fashion. Will I get my wish? Probably not. Uh, it's probably going to just slam up against that wall at ultrasonic speed and uh, it's going to take everybody by surprise. 
But anyway, we'll ponder these things f more later on. Now, one more thing. Greg Manorino is going live at 5 again today. Uh, I, I, every day I get an overwhelming amount of uh, people writing to me explaining that they really like these live segments. So again, I'll, I'll keep these going. I'm going to try to do them at least once, maybe twice a week. So today, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time from 5 to 5.30, I will do a live Q&A segment. So whatever you want to ask me, get your questions ready. Uh, and there's a lot of people, hundreds, uh, that attend these things. So I, I kind of pick through the questions as I, as I finish the one previous, and I'll answer another question. So have your question ready. Let's address these things. Let's try to make sense of the senseless. That's <laughs> true. And I will see you later at my post-market wrap-up, and I'll talk about this again. But again, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time today. We're going to have a live q and I'm looking forward to that. I'll see you at my post-market wrap-up, my lovely friends.